Happy, happy Sabbath, royal queens. All praises, honor, and glory to our Father. Thank you, Father. Yah, all praises in the name of your Son, Yahweh Shai. We are so grateful, thankful, and blessed for this holy Shabbat. And 50, 50 episodes of righteousness. All oh, praises. Thank you, Father, for taking us on this journey. I love y'all, queens. I love y'all. My whole royal family. Kings, queens, princes, and princesses. I love you all. All oh, praises. And thank you, Father, for 50 episodes of righteousness in this beautiful, beautiful journey of releasing your word bringing your word out. We are so thankful and grateful, Father. And with that being said, today we are going to review 50 episodes of righteousness and be thankful to the Father for his word. Hallelujah. Let's go. The premiere of Queen Circle was on the Sabbath, July 1st, 2023 at 3 p.m. And as you all know, the first two episodes were the only two episodes where I was on camera. Now, with that being said, it takes about a gigabyte or two per episode to, to make these lessons with video. So with the technical difficulties that after the first two episodes, I just decided we just going to bring the word out. Y'all ain't got to see me. Y'all know what I look like. Okay. Well, with that being said, I just wanted to pull a couple of my favorite moments from the first episode, which is entitled Essence of a Queen. And the second episode, More Essence, Warrior Queen. All praises. Let's check it out, y'all. So, being a queen in the last day, remembering the days of old and the things that we do not want to repeat, we have to remember that we are precious jewels, the Father's precious jewels, and our morals, our values, our actions, our everyday lifestyle should be reflected righteousness. Obedience to the Father's word every day. So, with that, I want to pull some great scriptures that show the essence of a queen. Start with Proverbs 31, of course. Proverbs 31, verses 10 to 14. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above root? The heart of her husband does safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. Praying always with all prayer and supplication and and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication 
for all things. Now, the scripture is clearly telling us here that we must stay suited and booted with the full armor and our weapons, which is the sword of the spirit, the word of God, the scripture. We must be in the scriptures, we must know the scriptures, because that is our weapon against evil, against the wild of the devil, against the principalities, against the high wickedness in dark places, against all those things, that's our weapon, the Father's word. All oh, praise the Son and glory to the Father. So with that, I want to look at um, the, the armor and the weapon in a tangible sense. So let's take a look. So I'm just going to read from my notes here. The helmet of salvation, so we can always keep the law on our minds and remember who we are and who we serve. The breastplate of righteousness, keeping righteousness and obedience in the truth of the Father's word covering our hearts. The belt of truth represents zero tolerance for lies. Only abiding in the truth of the Father's word, which is reflected in our standards, our values, and actions. The shield of faith is what protects us from the wiles of the devil, such as his fiends, his darts, and his arrows. The shield covers us as we march through spiritual warfare. Boots for the gospel of peace represent standing firm in the gospel and standing strong against the enemy and ready to kick ass when necessary. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the word of Yah, it is your only weapon in the battle and it cuts you down to the bone now. The scriptures are by far the most superior weapon available and guarantee victory. Because we'll be victorious, a a we are, a a we are, a victorious. Okay. Oh, praises. That was so good, y'all. That was so good. So, we got a lot of episodes to get to. Now, we're not going to play long clips like that for all of them, but selected ones, we will have little clips, but we're going to talk about them. We're going to talk about them. So, episodes three, four, and five were charity, give love, compassion, then discernment in the last days, and then episode five was repentance, return to Yah. And all these episodes are just so deep and fiery about each topic. It just gets so deep into each topic. And that's what I love about Queen's Circle. We're going to bring them scriptures out. It ain't no whole bunch of talking, 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 pinion, pinion, pinion. No, we bringing it out. We bringing the scriptures out. All praises, honor, and glory to our Father. So let's get a couple of clips from that. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Now let's go and roll on over to Hebrew. Now I love Hebrew now. I like four, but five, ooh, five really gets you into it now. <clears throat> so start with four, twelve. For the word of God is quick, powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword. I know y'all have heard this in this book. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Oh, praise and thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes. The word of the Father, the word of God, his scriptures is sharp. Cut, cut niggas daily, let me tell you. And they, it, it hurt them. They bleed out. They die. Because that word, let me tell you, it's fire. It, it, it's fire. It's powerful. And it is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. The word can discern between good and evil. 
the word is made to discern between good and evil. All praise is on and glory to the Father. Woo, now episode six. Episode six was they clone Tyrone and Suki. Wake up, Jacob. Now, on that episode, we went in and we did an extensive analysis of the movie and how it is closely related with biblical prophecy. And yet that episode, woo, is deep in the condition of our people. Oh, goodness. It's just exposed in this movie slash um, biblical reference. Episode 7, Distractions, The Folding Chair. Now, that episode, we had to talk about what was going on with the Montgomery Brawl and how the whole thing was just a huge distraction. And we really went into depths with um, everything that was going on um, in social on social media and just how we deal with these distractions overall that's keeping us away from the Father's Word. Episode 8, Truth Over Lies. Now, in that one, I, we just pulled out a bunch of lies that is going on, and, and we had them side by side with the truth. And we got a little clip from that coming up. And Episode 9, Dina and Her Brothers. Now, this Episode 9 is the only episode that I did live because I was having technical difficulties and I was like, well, we just going to have to go live then because, you know, we can't not do the circle. Okay. So yeah, Dina and her brothers, Dina, of course, being the sister of the 12 brothers, tribes, 12 tribes of Israel. And it talks about her story, her saga, her rape, her kidnapping, and everything that happened to Dina and how her brothers got their revenge. All oh, praises. Love that episode. That's the only live one. But here's a little clip from Truth Over Lies. Y'all know how I'd like to do my comparison. Let's get into a little bit of that. So first we have the rainbow. And we'll say truth versus lies. Now the truth of the rainbow. Please be asked 43 verses 11 and 12. Look upon the rainbow and praise him that made it. Oh, every time I see a rainbow, oh, I don't care if it's in a reflection. You know how sometimes I see rain or some rainbow reflection of being in the rain, in the puddle, on the ground, or on a, uh, one of those little reflective signs. It just be all over the place. They be on your wall in your house coming through, shining off the glass. Every time I see, oh, praise on it, glory. All oh, praise God. Thank you, Father. Because this is what the scripture tells us to do. Look upon the rainbow and praise him that made it. Every time you see a rainbow, you need to be like, thank you, Father. All oh, praises on it. Glory to you. Thank you, Father, for your beautiful, beautiful creation. All oh, praises. Yes, all oh, praises, nothing but the truth. So now we have episodes 10 and 11. Now this starts out the music series where all of the songs that you see were songs that I previously had. And we just went into the depths of the meaning of all these songs. So Hella Day Free, we went through what it meant to be Hella Day Free and free from pagan traditions, all praises, and how we need to be with the Father's Holy days all praises and then episode 11 his mercy endures forever of course we talked all about his mercy all praises yes let's get it and continuing on with the music series um we had episode 12 married to the word now this one brought out how we are the bride israel we are married to the word of yah we are the bride so and then we went into episode 13 the song of moses deuteronomy 32 very prophetic song talks about the end times talks about the rewards of the wicked i love it love it love it and rounding out our musical series was episode 14, Suffering Servant, Righteous Servant. And of course, the lyrics of this song are Isaiah 53. And we went through <clears throat> that whole thing, brought out some other precepts and stuff to talk about how he suffered, but he is righteous and the ultimate 
servants of the Father Yah. Thank you, Father Yah. Hallelujah. Who episodes 15 and 16. Now, 15, Ratchet to Righteous. This is when the Father brought down the five target areas. And we're going to get a small clip from that in just a second. In episode 16, Fringe Benefits, Modesty is a Must. We talked about our fringes and brought out the scriptures thereof and how we have to stay modest. We have to leave the Hostro wardrobe alone. All praises. Now let's get that clip from Ratchet the Righteous. This week when I sat down to gather my thoughts for the lesson, as I like to do outside as the sun is beaming on me, and I just asked the Father, how should we lay this out? How do you want this to come across? What's the best way? And I felt five target areas. And the very first area that came up, the mouth. Mouth, mouth, mouth. Oh, whoo. Black women and our mouth. Okay, now number two, a tie. Number three, self-worth. Number four, idolization. And number five, relationships. Now we are going to go and sort of briefly cover each of these. Now each of these could be... A, a episode by themselves but I just wanted to bring it all together and bring it all home so we can see scripturally how to go from being ratchet to righteous oh praises and they all on target now episode 17 fear not and this is where we explored with our base verse being Isaiah 41 10 fear not do not be dismayed the father got us and the only thing that we should have that fear is of the father and it's of a, a reverence type of fear that is based in love okay so yes all praises in episode 18 Romans 12 oh I love Romans 12 Romans 12 do not be conformed to this world that is what Romans 12 is all about. The renewing of our minds. Yes, all praises. Thank you, Father. And episode 19, the Feast of Dedication. Of course, we went into the Book of Maccabees and explored the Feast of Dedication and everything that's behind it. And we basically learned that it is a second tabernacles. It is to be celebrated very closely with tabernacles filled with joy and gladness in episode 20 don't worry be happy this episode was all about exactly what it says do not worry about anything be happy be full of joy and the scriptures are filled with precepts about not worrying because the father got you when you're in your obedience all you want to do or all you need to do is be happy be happy. And when it comes from a genuine place, you going to be all right. Oh, praises. Up next, episode 21, the word part one, bring it out. Of course, just magnifying the fact that we are supposed to bring this word out magnifying the fact that we cannot keep silent about the father's word it is meant for us to bring it out and we certainly shine the light on that in episode 22 the word part two sing it out that this one really explored the the historical usage of praise and worship and this is how we in particular going into chronicles um, and how praise and worship was used to fight real life battles. Praise and worship and, and singing out to the Father is his love language. He loves it when we sing our praises unto him and he answers our beck and call. All oh, praises on in glory. Episode 23, Obedience is Key. And yes, y'all already know we dug deep in them scriptures 
that concerned obedience and we already know this is the key this is the factor the obedience to the father's word and keeping his commandments all praises in episode 24 law murder on ig live pure disobedience and this heifer right here Woo! Y'all remember that episode where we talked about Sukiyan and her taking the birth control on IG Live and killing the babies and all that stuff. And we brought them scriptures out concerning her pure disobedience and where it will lead you. Episode 25 was Leave the World Behind. And y'all remember, we explored that crazy movie and put it together with biblical prophecy and how we are to conduct ourselves with all of these lies and everything going on. And we brought, we brought it out. Remember, white lion, the white lion, it wasn't playing. In episode 26, Yahweh Shai's return, 2nd Ezra 13, The Dream. So we went into Second Edris and brought out the dream that he had about Yahushua's return, and it wasn't no joke. And these two particular scriptures, which is so powerful, very powerful, so powerful that I just put it right on in the uh, Queen Circle intro. Queen Circle. That episode was literally on fire. So then, right as we approached episode 27, we got a makeover and a new logo for Queen Circle. All praises. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate it. Queen Circle, episode 27. Celebrity idolatry is sin. And we just brought out all types of idolatry in different ways that people idolize things and other people and inanimate objects and all types of stuff and how it is plain and simply sin. Then episode 28, the color purple red flags we went in and looked at the movie and saw how it was so much content that was just against the father's word and i'd advise y'all stay away from that movie all praises now episodes 29 30 and 31 and this is when we got to the point where we didn't even realize until we got to the third episode that we had been in a trilogy all three of these concepts so closely interconnect and they all are one dependent upon the other all praises i just love how the father word the father's word just connects episode 29 his righteous right hand very powerful episode episode 30 the power of prayer faith and works very powerful and we rounded it out with the superpower of fasting T- the trilogy is just off the chain let's get a clip why could not we cast him out they asked him why, why we couldn't do it we tried and he said unto them this kind this kind right here can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. All oh, praises, honor, and glory to the Father. <laughs> this is telling us right here. They tried to cast it out. It, it, it couldn't be done. But 
if that person were to do fasting and were to do praying, or somebody was fasting and praying for that, that superpower of fasting and praying will allow us, hold y'all ready, it allows us to do the same things that Yahushai does. Fasting is a superpower that allows us to do the things that Yahushai does. It allows us to cast out evil spirits, fasting and prayer, all praises, honor, and glory to our Father. Imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings. Verses 6 and 7, by pureness, by knowledge, by long-suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of Yah, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. All praises, honor, and glory to our Father, Yah Almighty. Do y'all see it? This is what I mean by the trilogy, his righteous right hand, the power of praying, faith, and works, righteousness, his righteous right hand coming together with the our superpower of fasting. All oh, praises. Honor oh, and glory to the Father. Thank you, Father Yah. For the way that you allow in your word, your word <laughs> to come out and be displayed. All oh, praises. I absolutely love it. And I am super, super, duper. <laughs> I'm super. I'm super. Super Queen Cardi. <laughs> Let's get it. Episode 32, Daughter of Zion. And we went in and explored how this is not only us as daughters of the Most High, but this is also the equivalent of the nation, Daughter of Zion. Just like you have the, the Daughter of Babylon, you have the Daughter of Zion. All praises. Episode 33, The Rejection of Yahawashai. And we just went through the scriptures and brought it out about how they just love to hate on him. They love to hate on him. They love to reject him his entire life from being a little kid to his ministry in his 30s, just rejected, rejected by those who did not know who they were dealing with. All praises. Woo! Episodes 34, 35, and 36 took us into another trilogy concerning Queen Esther. On the first episode, we brought out her real name, Queen Hadassah, and how her name was changed to Esther. And we started telling her story. And then we had to cut it off and finish the story up. Part two, where we ended up with the conclusion and how her and her uncle Mordecai were able to save the nation through their obedience to the Father's word, through their praying and fasting and all of those things. And it was just so beautiful. Thus, they declared Purim, the holy day that we celebrate in just celebrating the Father coming to our rescue as we are faithful to him. And episode 36 was the additions to Esther found in the Apocrypha. And we went on ahead and brought it out. And then when we think about it, episode 37, the destruction of Nicanor, because it has such a close association with the day of Purim, which it comes on the day after Purim. And so we were really in like a quadrilogy, if that's even a word, 
But yeah, so then episode 38, Protection and Preparation, Three Days of Darkness. We went and explored in the scripture about these three days of darkness that have been in the past. And as we know, nothing new under the sun. So we may see three days of darkness once again. Episode 39, Queen Mother Raya canning chicken and collards. And when I tell y'all this episode was so fun to put together and I'm so appreciative. Thank you, Queen Mother Raya, for bringing this out to us because these tactics that are not practiced that often in Israel need to come back and we need to be preserving and canning and doing all that stuff and I can't wait to do the next one so it's coming up we're going to do another one because there are several aspects to food preservation different tactics different things we can do to preserve our food and we need this info can't wait to do it again and here's a clip from that episode just watch and you'll see why these two things are very important. And with that being said, that it. Okay, so today I'm gonna can some lemon pepper chicken. And I'm also going to do some collard greens. I'm gonna can them in this canner. I have to blanch them in this pot. I will show you how that's done. The tools that I'm going to use, I'm going to need canning salt, my jars, I'm going to need a deep bubbler, I'm going to need the cups that I pour the, into the jars with need this, this is what takes it, your jars out of the canner, Get and blanch my greens, and I'm going to use a little chicken broth in here, that's what I use to do this with, yes, I can't wait to do that one again, so moving on to episode 40, Reclaiming the joy, my personal testimony. I just came out with, you know, um, some things that I've been through and just let it on out, y'all. And reclaiming that joy, bringing the joy out while you're talking about your testimony and going through all your little stuff. Let's get it. Episode 41, Passover and the importance of Psalm 118. And we focused on why Psalm 118 is so important for Passover. And it is literally, literally the embodiment of Passover. All praises. In episode 42, the remnant shall return. All praises. And this speaks for itself. We bring out those scriptures about the remnant and how we will return in these last days. And we hear... Episode 43, Spiritual Gifts. Now, for that one, we went deep into 1 Corinthians and just brought it out about all the spiritual gifts because there are several that the Father can endow upon us. And we all, once we get into our obedience, that can help us to identify what our spiritual gifts are, what we are bringing to the body. All praises in episode 44, the kingdom to come, Revelation 21. Ooh, I love that episode. I love them all. I really do. But that particular episode, we got to go in and get the visual representation about what was to come. That's where we explored all the jewels that it's made out of that'll be on the walls and the foundation and the gold and, and just the whole setup, how it's going to look. The 12 gates with the 12 tribes on there with 12 angels. Ah, beautiful episode. And then we skipped a week. And we did the Royal Gathering recap. 
queens represents now i didn't officially make that an episode so it it doesn't have a number but it did go in on the queen circle time slot so just threw that in but wonderful time in episode 45 the crowns kingdom rewards we went in and explored all the crowns the crown of life the crown of righteousness so on and so forth beautiful episode then episode 46 let's talk about sex in righteousness and we talked about how we should be doing and the right things the righteous way to approach sex all praises in episode 47 Father Yah's calendar and Yahweh Shai's birth. And we went in deep on that episode and brought it out that she conceived in the sixth month on the Father's calendar. So on the Gregorian calendar, that would be a May June birth. So he would have been born during Pentecost time. The whole Christmas thing is a lie. Let's bring it out. Bring it out. Episodes 48 and 49. Wilderness Ready Part 1, we went in and talked about exploring how to be able to determine what's safe to eat in the wilderness, what's not, what we can eat, and what we should not. And we are going to get deeper into that Wilderness Ready. I can feel it. Episode 49, which was just last week. The devil is a liar. My father is truth. And we went in them scriptures, y'all, didn't we? And we pulled it out about the lies of old Hasatan and how we shall stand in truth, in truth and obedient, be obedient to our father's word, all praises. And here we are, episode 50. Queen Circle, 50 episodes of righteousness. All praises to the Father for his word coming out. And with that being said, y'all, happy, happy Sabbath, royal queens. All praises, honor, and glory to our Father. Thank you, Father Yah. In Yahweh Shah's name, we are so grateful for this Holy Shabbat, and for this review of 50 episodes of Queen Circle, and I pray for 50 more. What a journey, and I'm so thankful to all my queens for being on this journey with me, being supportive of this platform, and loving what's going on here with nothing but righteousness and obedience beaming from this platform all praises on and glory to our father thank you father y'all for your word it is so beautiful and with that being said i look forward to seeing you guys at 3 p.m eastern standard time at sister circle on zoom sundays 3 p.m and with that being said y'all already know what time it is it is time for the royal queens roll call